All right, Commanders, get ready for a deep dive straight into the elite dangerous galaxy. This one is going to be huge. We're talking about an AI project that is going to completely change what we think of when we hear immersive gameplay. And we've got the goods right here, the projects Re and Me and Description Files. They're basically the blueprints to understanding this whole thing. And let me tell you, this isn't just some theory or some idea someone is kicking around. This is a working integration that you can use right now. Okay, so let's bring in the expert here to, you know, tell us what's at the heart of this AI. What makes this thing tick? So this AI uses OpenAI's language models, or you can use other similar things like Open Router or even locally hosted LLMs. These models are like the brain of the AI and let it respond to you, not by using keyboard commands or anything like that, but with actual language. So wait, you're telling me I don't have to memorize like a million keybinds just to navigate a menu. I can just talk to my ship. Exactly. Like imagine you need to change how your power is being used in the middle of combat. You just tell the AI to do it. It's designed to feel like you are talking to an actual co-pilot. Whoa. Okay. That's already, that already seems like a game changer. And it isn't limited to just open AI, is it? You're right. It's actually super flexible. You can yeah. actually connect it up to other AI models. You could even use one that you are running locally yourself. Though the creators of this have said that using open AI is definitely the easiest and probably the most effective way to get up and running. So there are more options for people who want to get their hands dirty. Okay. But, you know, we can't talk about a Starship experience without talking about voice commands. Is that is that a thing? 100%. They integrated Whisper into it, which is a speech-to-text program, so you can, you know, actually speak your commands. And then the AI actually talks back to you using text-to-speech. It's really incredible. This back-and-forth dialogue really pulls you in and makes you feel like you are in a sci-fi movie. I know. I am picturing myself in the captain's chair asking for a status report, and then my AI co-pilot, nice and calm, gives me all the info. That is next level. Yeah, it's one thing to have a game that looks futuristic, but this is on a whole other level. It makes it feel futuristic. And it isn't like this AI just sitting there, you know, passively responding to you. It can actually do stuff in the game right. That is the coolest part. The AI uses something called function calling. And basically what this means is that it interfaces directly with your ship's systems. It takes what you are saying and turns it into in-game actions. Okay, so like in reality, what does that look like? Can I tell the AI to fire or to adjust our speed and it'll just do it? Yep, exactly. Say you need to make a really complicated maneuver. Like right now in the middle of combat, the AI is already going to be one step ahead of you. It will know what you want to do and be ready to do it before you even ask. That's wild. It's like having, you know, an actual co-pilot there with you at all times. Yeah. Hopefully one that won't crack under pressure, though. And it's even more impressive than that. This AI doesn't just react to what you're telling it to do. It actually constantly monitors everything that is happening around you in the game and reacts in real time. So it is constantly staying on top of things, keeping me in the loop even if I miss something. What kind of information are we talking about here? Everything. Ship status changes, incoming attacks. The AI is going to let you know even before you see it happen a lot of the time. So it is like having a sixth sense out there in the black. Talk about a tactical advantage. And, get this, it can even go online. Wait, hold on. It can go online. Hmm. Isn't that kind of unfair to other commanders? What's even the point of that? It can connect to something called EDSM, which is the Elite Dangerous Star Map. So it's like having this huge galactic encyclopedia built into my ship. Yeah, basically. It can pull up really detailed information all in real time about star systems, stations, even the different factions. Well, I could be like on the other side of the galaxy and just ask about the trade status of the station or how much influence a faction has and get an instant answer. Yes, exactly. And think about how useful that would be for planning trade routes or, you know, even just charting a course through a system that's kind of dangerous all without having to pause the game and go look things up on a website. This is some seriously impressive stuff and incredibly powerful, but what about people out there like me, you know, who aren't exactly coding geniuses or anything? How difficult is this thing to set up? Well, the people who created this have done a really amazing job making it easy for anyone to install. You don't even need to be that tech savvy. Okay, that is good to know. Honestly, every time I hear AI integration, my brain just goes straight to complicated. Mm. But... If I don't have to be a programming whiz to make this thing work, that's great. Sure? What about if I run into some trouble, though? Am I just on my own? 
Not even a little bit. They have super detailed instructions, you know, broken down step by step. And there's even a video guide if you're like me and need to actually see it to understand it. Plus, they've even got troubleshooting tips for when things go a little sideways because you know it happens. So it's like having a whole tech support team just for your AI co-pilot. Very cool. It really shows how much they want this to be available to everyone. You can tell they really want everyone to experience Elite Dangerous this way, no matter how well they know about computers. Okay, it's seriously impressive. But we've talked a lot about how this is going to change Elite Dangerous. This feels bigger, though, right? Right. Like, for gaming as a whole, is this a window into the future of gaming? It's a huge jump forward, for sure, at least in terms of in-game AI. The way it uses natural language processing and voice control and combines it with how deeply it connects with the game, we really haven't seen anything like it before. It makes you wonder, what if all games were like this? What if we didn't have to learn a whole bunch of complicated button combinations? We could just talk to our games and give them directions like a normal person. I know. No more trying to remember what button does what in the heat of the moment. You'd be able to fly your ship, manage all of your systems, even work with your crew, all just by talking. Think how much that would change gaming, especially those really complex sims like Elite Dangerous. And you know what else? It would make it easier for more people to play games, too. Totally. Not everyone wants to learn every single button combination, or even can, but everyone can talk. This could open up gaming for people who might have thought it looked too hard or physically couldn't play the old way. I love that. It lets them focus on the important parts, like the story or the strategy, instead of how fast their fingers are. Yeah. And speaking of story, imagine what this could mean for how stories and games are told. Okay, now you have my attention. What do you mean? Imagine a game where the characters actually react to what you were doing and the choices you make instead of just saying the same lines every time. You could even have your AI play a part in that, giving you subtle hints or advice, even reacting to what you decide to do in real time. So each time you play, everything that happens, all the interactions would be different. You would be shaping the story as you played with the help of your AI. Exactly. It would be like that line between you and the game just fades away. You would be completely immersed and really feel connected to it on a whole other level. That's just not possible with what we have now. And when you think about how fast AI is changing and getting better, there's no way to even know what we'll be able to do. It's a little scary if you think about it too much. Just a little. This elite, dangerous integration. It really does feel like the tip of the iceberg. What other games could use this? What other crazy AI stuff is coming down the road? It's almost impossible to even imagine. It really does feel like everything is about to change. Like we are looking at a whole new world of interactive entertainment. And this is just the start. AI is changing so fast. And it is clear that the people making this project are going to keep pushing to see what it can do. What they have done already is amazing. I can't even imagine what they'll come up with next. So how long until we see this in every game? Mm -hmm. Because... Honestly, after seeing what it can do, it's going to be hard to go back to the old way. Right. Once you've played like this, you know, where you are just interacting so easily and you really feel like you are a part of the game world, it's going to be hard to go back. It's like we've been playing with these clunky tools this whole time, and suddenly someone is handing us this perfectly made instrument. And it'll be really interesting to see how developers change how they design games and how players react to this whole new way of playing. That's a great point. This is going to change everything. How we think about designing games, how we make games that everyone can play, even the basic idea of what a game can be. The possibilities are endless. It's kind of hard to wrap your head around. Well, Commanders, if you want to experience the future of gaming right now, you need to check this AI integration out for Elite Dangerous. It might just change how you think about exploring the galaxy. And who knows? It might even give you a glimpse into the future of gaming. That's it for our look at AI-powered space exploration. Until next time. Commanders, fly safe. Fly safe out there.